This segment of the news is brought to you by Sun Oil Limited. Welcome back. Some 107 COVID-19 tests completed on Monday. According to health officials, 29 tests returning positive. Grand Bahama recording the lion's share of those cases, 18 of them pushing that island's total over 1,000. Four cases reported on Bimini, three on New Providence and Exuma, and one case on Andros. The total cases in country now stands at 7,460. New Providence has now recorded 5,463. Grand Bahama 1004, Abaco 194, Eleuthera 144, Exuma 106, Bimini 81, Andros with 22 cases reported, the Berry Islands 46, Inagua with 19 cases, Long Island 11, Cat Island 8, Acklands 7, Crooked Island 6, and Mayaguano 3. Of the 29 confirmed cases yesterday, 17 are male and 12 are females. Active cases now stand at 1,535. 19 of them are hospitalized. 56 cases recovered during the total in that category to 5,708. 42,053 tests have been completed so far and the death toll remains at 163. The preschool and daycare industry in the Bahamas have been given a much-needed boost thanks to the government's grant program through the Access Accelerator Small Business Development Center. Yesterday at the SBDC's headquarters off Gladstone Road, 36 preschools and daycare centers from around the country were awarded with grants ranging from $12,500 to $25,000. On hand for the presentations were Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis and Education Minister Jeffrey Lloyd. Dr. Minnis spoke to the initiative that makes it possible for each child to have an equal opportunity to develop their talents. I'm happy to report to you, Mr. Prime Minister, that today, because of the partnership with some 190 independent preschools and a significant number of uh, vouchers that have been placed in their care, we are able now to boast that from that 1,800, there are now 5,000 three and four year olds enrolled in government supported institutional advancement and instructions. I am very proud of this. Now up to 1,000 vouchers, each valued at $2,000 per student, will be distributed to help achieve the universal preschool education objectives set by the government, and that's according to the Prime Minister. Minister Lloyd says that when the Free National Movement government came into office, too many children, three to four years old, were being deprived of the opportunity for early education, which left them unprepared once they entered first grade. The Minister says he's happy to announce that the government its preschool and daycare initiative has begun to reverse that trend. I have said on many occasions that talent and ability are equally distributed among people, but no matter the circumstance, no matter the circumstances of one's birth. But in a country or a society, opportunity is not equally distributed. And that's why it's so important to endorse and support what the Minister of Education and his team is doing, because they want to ensure that each and every Bahamian has an opportunity. Not only those from certain privileged background or affluent background, but every individual born with such potential and it's the government's responsibility to ensure that that potential comes to fruition. President of the New Providence Preschools Association and operator of the Horizon Preschool Academy, Chanel McPhee, who is one of the recipients of the grant, says the grant is timely for her and others in the industry. We are grateful for the Universal Preschool Grant. Through this grant, I was able to ensure another location that we were anticipating due to the overwhelming response of students and the new protocols in place due to COVID-19. Through the small business development, I've received a certificate, the course that empowers us to be better businessmen and women. 
The Prime Minister is encouraging new and veteran preschool and daycare operators to do their best, noting that Grand Bahama and the family islands will be given the same opportunities. Stay with us. Our final stories are up next. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.